same Jesus who died on the cross, the same Jesus who ascended back into heaven, he's coming back. And I think the book of Acts is a great book to read. It's a story of how the early church started and how it developed. And this book contains much that's needed by us and by every church to be a successful church. What I mean by that is to be obedient and to be faithful to God. And one important thing this church or this book contains is purpose. Jesus establishes purpose for the church and empowers the church. He says that when he leaves, he'll send the comforter, the parakletos, the Holy Spirit, to come alongside of us. And he, in fact, indwells you if you're a believer. And he gives us the ability, the power we need to obey God and do the things he told us to do. Now, when people turn their eyes away from Jesus, they lose hope. I have seen that, and I'm sure you have too. Have you ever taken your eyes off of Jesus just for a moment, just for a day, for something you're going through? And you get your eyes off of Christ because of the circumstances you're in. And that's a temptation that every man, woman, boy, and girl faces is to take your eyes off Christ and put it on circumstances. And don't tell me you've never been tempted to do that or never done it because I know what happens. Even just for a moment, you can turn your eyes on things that are going on around you and get all upset and all worked up and draw conclusions and you think, I'm thinking, turn your eyes upon Jesus. Look full in His wonderful face. And the things of this earth will grow strangely dim in the light of His glory and grace. Turn your eyes on Jesus. Oh, how we need to remember to keep our eyes on Christ. And uh, when you get distracted, you get distracted. There's so many things in the life to get you distracted, right? I mean, really, there's so many things can get you distracted and easily discouraged. So that's why I'm preaching this little series on this 50 days between the cross and the church. This time when Jesus Christ commissions the disciples to be his witnesses and then he ascends back into heaven and they're told he's coming back.